you can very easily play some simple tones and melodies with a piezo speaker or an eight ohm speaker and some of the built-in examples with Arduino. But if you really want high fidelity sound, or if you want to be able to decode MP3 or WAV files, you really need a different piece of hardware attached to your Arduino. It requires a lot more processing power and some interesting circuitry to be able to do that. I have a couple examples here. The first one I want to show you is this soundboard from Adafruit. And this one actually doesn't even need a microcontroller. You can attach pin buttons to the pins here and play audio files that you store on the board. It's an interesting solution without a microcontroller. Say you wanted to make a Halloween display to play different spooky sounds when you press buttons. But we're talking about prototyping with Arduino. And the one I decided to look at is this Music Maker Shield. And this will decode MP3 files. You can see there's a lot of circuitry on here. One of the other nice things about this is it has a built-in amplifier. I'm going to go over a few things about installation, the library, some code, and some tips and tricks for using a shield like this. Number one, it can be powered through the Arduino through 5 volt. I have it plugged in now. I'll unplug it. The files that you're playing are stored on this card and you can save them as typical MP3 files. The only thing you need to note is that there is a character limit for the names. It's typically eight characters. So if you save them as test one, test two, three, and so on, you'll be okay. And they should say .mp3. Another thing to note, you have two different ways of putting audio out on this. You have these terminal blocks here, which you could attach speakers to, like I have here. And I have a little plug here. So what I do is I take some male jumper wires and I just put them in there. And let's go ahead and attach them this way. This way I don't have to rip off this nice little wiring harness. And you just screw those down and there's a built-in amplifier, although this is going to play relatively quiet. These are four ohm speakers. And let's grab these two and put them in here because it is stereo. There's a couple other really neat features for this shield and why I chose it. This actually has built-in MIDI functions, which are really interesting and well documented. So I have two speakers hooked up and I've recorded two MP3 files of me speaking on this card. Let's go ahead and upload the code and give it a test. So I go over to my Arduino IDE. You need to install a library to use this. You can go into your include library, manage libraries. And the library is the VS10 and there it is, 1053. And I've already installed it, so there's no install button. You can install that, and once you do, you will have in your examples VS1053, and here's all the different example codes that you can run. I'm using the player simple right now, and if we look at the code, this is all comments. We don't need that. A little bit of library includes defining the pins that we're using. It's important to look at is this code right here. And you comment out one of these two. So I've deleted this comment and this says it's the shield. This one is the breakout. So if you have the breakout board, which is just a different form factor, you can breadboard it as opposed to the shield that plugs into an Arduino. You want one or the other running. So I have the shield, so I uncommented that. I can look at my boards good. My port isn't hooked up yet. I'll go ahead and plug that in. And I'll upload the code. And it's already uploaded and it played. So I'm going to reset that. You might not have heard that. I'll hold it up here a little bit. I don't have it set to play too loud. So you can hear me say Arduino and O'Reilly. One other thing you can do, it does have a built-in amplifier, but I can disconnect these speakers and I could use just a freestanding little speaker here. This has an auxiliary input and I can plug it into here. Let's see, hopefully that's all wired up. Hit reset. Arduino. O'Reilly. 
So you can hear the fidelity is quite good. There's a little bit of a buzz in the background, but that's because I recorded this right in front of my desktop computer. Maybe I should have put it in sleep mode before I did that. So if you're looking to add high fidelity audio or music to your Arduino prototype, using the Music Maker Shield is a great option.